Hi, this is Dave. I have another tour of a Unitron telescope. This is the classic and beautiful Unitron 131C. The Unitron 131C is a folded refractor. That is, uh, it's very similar to the Unitron 140. Uh, you can see one of my other videos about that. And it's almost identical in terms of the optical performance. There's a lens in the front and the light goes through the tube hits a mirror back here at the back end, comes up and hits another mirror up at the front, and then comes out the back. So you've effectively compressed a much longer telescope into a shorter package, and it's just as effective. There are a couple of uh, catches to that. One of them is the mirrors have to be perfect. The mirrors have to be optically superb. They're first surface mirrors and they have to be just as good a quality as the lenses. And of course, in the case of Unitron, they're not going to compromise on any of that. So they have beautiful, superb optics all the way through, including the reflecting mirrors inside the telescope. I've got this telescope set up so that it's prepared for observing the sun. And what would happen here is you would aim the telescope at the sun, remove the regular dust cap, and put on a, a special aperture dust cap. This dust cap, like so, covers the, covers the objective. That would reduce the amount of light from the sun coming through here, because the sun, of course, is very, very intense. So you reduce the amount of light. The light comes through here, comes through an eyepiece, and then is projected onto this screen in the back. And what you would do is observe the sun. You'd have a, an image of the sun, oh, a small image of the sun, maybe two inches in diameter or so, depending on how you set up the telescope. So that would appear on the white screen. The black screen here is strictly to prevent uh, ambient light from the sun from striking the screen. So it makes it possible to view the little image of the sun seen on the, on the white screen. Okay, let's take a, a quick look at some of the components of this telescope. Another interesting and unique thing about the Unitron 131C is the fact that the focuser actually rotates. And those of you who have visited my website have seen that I built a large 6-inch folded refractor that is almost identical to this, but of course much bigger. It's a considerably bigger telescope. And I uh, emulated that in my 6-inch. The idea that this thing can rotate makes it very convenient, depending upon where you are in the sky, you can have the knobs at a convenient location. So that is a unique feature to this particular Unitron. I want to show you something else also. I'm going to unscrew this and remove this. And you'll see this strange looking thing. It's like a part from a cement mixer, maybe. The reason for this is baffling and uh, not because I'm confused, but because it's baffling and stopping the light from getting into the eyepiece. There's a, light, a lot of light bouncing around inside the telescope, and this uh, component helps to prevent that light from getting into the eyepiece, except for the, the light that comes straight through, which is what you want. I want to show you now what's going on inside here. Lock this down. Okay, the light is coming out of there into the eyepiece. Behind here is a, is a mirror. And this little cover simply covers three adjusting screws that adjust that first mirror. This is the first folding mirror. The light is coming through the objective, the main lens, strikes the first folding mirror here. Now that mirror has to be tilted just right so that it reflects the right to the second mirror and then that comes out here. Uh, and most of you probably f would find that very confusing. The idea of adjusting all of that is uh, it it's intimidating, I have to admit. However, it's not impossible and luckily once you get one of these telescopes adjusted you never have to adjust it again. I've never had to adjust this. There are instructions in the Unitron manual, although I find the instructions very minimal and not, not very helpful. Uh, but there are instructions there for how to adjust these screws to, to tweak everything up. It's not as complicated as you might think. And on my website I have more comments about how to do that with my big 6-inch telescope. Uh, so collimating and adjusting 
a, um, a folded refractor is not necessarily as complicated as you might think. And luckily you only have to do it once and in the case of a Unitron, probably never. You probably never touch it unless there's some sort of a malfunction or you have to take it apart or something. Okay, so I thought I would show you that little bit of stuff. I want to show you something on the front also. The cell on the Unitron is a little bit different, and it doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have a screw-on dew cap. Instead, it has this, which is a notched dew cap. There's the objective. One of the small flaws with this telescope, and there aren't many. One of the flaws with this telescope is they decided to paste this great big logo on here. Uh, I think that's ugly, but whatever, it's it's fine. They also pasted this thing on. I don't know, they got a little nuts with their with their printers, I guess, back in the day. And they put this thing on here. Now it's it's a little bit pointless to have this and have it be obscured by the mounting ring. So clearly somebody did that that didn't quite understand how this thing was going to actually look when it was done. So that was a little bit thoughtless and one of the few examples of a flaw in a Unitron telescope. Not too many can be found. Okay, so this is a little bit of optical and mechanical perfection. And I love this telescope dearly because of all the, the features that Unitrons have. It's got those unique characteristics, kind of quirky, great attention to detail. Every item on this scope is very, very well crafted, highly crafted, uh, even the setting circles. Now, on this kind of a scope, the setting circles are not particularly useful. Here's the detail, close-up view of the setting circles on the Unitron 131C. This is a much smaller mount. Uh, it's a mount that is usually used on a 60 millimeter scope, much smaller scope. And as such, it has a smaller setting circle. It is a basic setting circle, and it's well executed, as with everything Unitron does. You will notice that it doesn't have the vernier here uh, on, the, on the scale. Uh, so using this setting circle in, under the sky probably would be very challenging to get uh, anything except sort of close to what you wanted to look at. And I think one of the things that we Unitron fans like about these scopes is that they have many of the features of the large observatory quality scopes in a smaller package. So they're almost miniature versions of a real observatory. And as a matter of fact, I think they were marketed in that fashion. It was uh, supposed to be an observatory you could have at home and, and store it in the closet and bring out your observatory whenever you wanted to. Just like with all Unitrons, the boxes and cases are very important. You'll notice that the boxes for the Unitron 131C are small and compact, quite different from a typical box for a longer refractor telescope. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my little tour of the Unitron 131C. Thank you.